Hey everyone and welcome back to the Zodiac Psycho Podcast. Buckle up. Oh yeah. Because today... We are diving deep. We are. Into the world of angel numbers. Specifically, yep. 337. 337. Don't worry. Oh. If you're thinking this is a little too woo-woo... A little no. out there. We get it. We totally get it. But trust us, you sent in some seriously detailed info about this number, and we are ready to explore it with you. Absolutely. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe we'll even convert you into a believer by the end of this. Okay, so speaking of believing, if you're looking for some extra guidance on your journey, visit our blog. Yes. The link's in the description below for amazing offers. Amazing offers. Now let's get back to 337. Okay. What's the deal with this number? Well, think of angel numbers as the universe's way of sending you a little nudge. A cosmic text without the emojis. Ooh, I like that. In numerology, every number vibrates with a unique energy, and 337 is a particularly interesting combo. Okay, I'm intrigued. So what makes 337 so special? Break it down for us. Uh, it's all about the individual digits and how they interact. Okay. In this case, we have the number three appearing twice, amplifying its influence, and the ever so slightly mysterious number seven. Double the three is double yeah. the fun, right? Yeah. But seriously, what does it mean when a number appears twice like that? It definitely boosts the energy. The number three is all about creativity, self-expression, and growth. Uh-huh. It encourages you to embrace your inner child, communicate your ideas fearlessly, and just go with the flow. Love it. Seeing it twice emphasizes these qualities, suggesting a powerful surge of creative energy and a strong urge to connect with others. So if I suddenly feel the urge to break out the watercolors or write a novel, I can blame it on 337. I like it. Yeah. But what about the seven? It always seemed a little more introspective, a little more dare I say, spiritual. You hit the nail on the head. The number seven is often linked with spiritual awakening, inner wisdom, and introspection. Okay. Think of it as the quiet observer encouraging you to look inward, connect with your intuition, and seek deeper meaning. So we've got this energetic, expressive three, doubled for good measure, paired with the introspective wisdom-seeking seven. Exactly. That sounds like a recipe for some serious self-discovery. When these two numbers combine, they create a potent energy for personal transformation. Angel number 337 is often seen as a sign that you're on the cusp of a major shift in your life, a deepening of your spiritual understanding or both. Wow. It's like a cosmic invitation to level up. Okay, this is getting deep. So if someone's seeing 337 everywhere they look on clocks, receipts, license plates, what's the universe trying to tell them? Think of it as a gentle nudge from your inner guide. Mm -hmm. It could be a confirmation that you're on the right path, a call to trust your intuition more, or an invitation to delve deeper into spiritual exploration. So it's not like a cosmic fortune cookie predicting the future, but more like a signpost pointing us in the right direction. <laughs> Precisely. It's about recognizing the energies at play and using them to make conscious choices that align with your soul's purpose. 337 encourages you to embrace your creativity, listen to that inner voice, and trust that you have the strength to navigate whatever challenges come your way. I'm already feeling more enlightened. Mm. But before we get too carried away, let's address the elephant in the room. Okay. Some folks might hear all this and think, come on, numbers can't really talk to us, can they? How do we balance this sense of wonder with a healthy dose of skepticism? It's a valid question. And you're right, numerology doesn't have the same kind of scientific backing as, say, physics or biology. Right. It's more about symbolism and personal interpretation. But just because something can't be measured in a lab doesn't mean it doesn't hold meaning. So it's okay to be a bit skeptical to question things and not just blindly accept everything we hear. Absolutely. Healthy skepticism can actually make your spiritual journey richer and more meaningful. Okay. It's about finding that sweet spot between open-minded curiosity and critical thinking. I like that. Question everything, explore different perspectives, and ultimately trust your own inner compass. That's a great point. It's like, even if angel numbers are just a placebo effect, mm -hmm. if they help people connect with something bigger than themselves, yeah. find purpose and live more intentionally, then who are we to say it's not real? Exactly. It's about finding what resonates with you and using it as a tool for personal growth and self-discovery. But even if you approach angel numbers with a healthy dose of skepticism, there's still something undeniably fascinating about these recurring patterns. Yeah. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? It really does. And speaking of fascinating patterns, yes. let's pick this back up in part two, where we'll explore some of the research around angel numbers. Oh, yes. The potential impact of 337 on your relationships, and maybe even try to unravel how these cosmic messages actually work. Stay tuned.
Welcome back, Cosmic Explorers. Ooh. Before the break, we were getting into the nitty gritty of Angel Number 337, that potent blend of creative expression and spiritual insight. Mm -hmm. But let's be honest. There's one area of life where everyone wants a little cosmic guidance. Oh, yeah. Love and relationships. Ooh, tell me more. So does 337 have anything to say about matters of the heart? Spill the tea. Yeah. Is 337 a sign that wedding bells are in my future? Wow. Should I start planning my Pinterest-worthy ceremony? <laughs> Hold your horses! While 337 might not be sending you a wedding invitation just yet. Okay. It does offer some intriguing insights into your love life. For those flying solo, yeah. seeing 337 could indicate that a significant spiritually aligned relationship is on the horizon. Okay, I'm listening. <laughs> So it's not just any old fling. No. But someone who's on the same wavelength, spiritually speaking. Exactly. It's about finding someone who supports your growth, shares your values, and encourages you to become the best version of yourself. That sounds pretty amazing. Okay. What about those of us who are already coupled up? Yes. Does 337 promise a second honeymoon, or is it time to call the divorce lawyer? Don't panic. Okay. For those in relationships, mm -hmm. 337 often signifies a period of deep connection and spiritual growth together. Okay. It could mean increased understanding, shared spiritual practices, or even embarking on a transformative journey as a couple. So instead of just Netflix and chill, it's more like, let's meditate together and discuss our spiritual evolution. You got it. Okay. It's about deepening that connection on a soul level. But remember, 337 is also a strong advocate for self-love and inner healing. Mm. It's a reminder that before we can fully connect with another, we need to be whole within ourselves. So it's not just about finding the one, but becoming the one ourselves. I like that. Precisely. Yeah. It's about cultivating self-acceptance, embracing your strengths and weaknesses, and doing the inner work to create healthy and fulfilling relationships. This is so important. It's easy to get caught up in the romantic fairy tale, but true love starts with loving ourselves. Yes. Great. Let's shift gears a bit and talk about the practical side of things. Okay. We've already touched on meditation and journaling. Yes. But are there any other ways to tap into the energy of 337? Besides, you know, waiting for love to magically appear at my doorstep. Remember, 337 is all about creative expression. So finding outlets for that creative energy is essential. Think outside the box. Okay. It could be anything from gardening to cooking to learning a new language. So basically, if it brings you joy and makes you feel alive. Yeah. You're probably on the right track. Exactly. The key is to find activities that spark your passion and allow you to express yourself authentically. And don't worry about perfection. It's about the process, the exploration, the joy of creation itself. This is so liberating. It's like giving yourself permission to play again, to yeah. experiment without judgment. Okay, I have to ask, how exactly do these angel numbers work? Yeah. Is there a cosmic hotline we can call? Is the universe sending us personalized emails? I wish it were that simple. Right. But the exact mechanism of how angel numbers work is still a bit of a mystery. Ooh, a mystery. However, yeah. there are a few fascinating theories out there. Ooh, I love a good mystery. Lay them on us. What are the leading contenders in the angel number explanation Olympics? Well, one theory suggests that angel numbers are a form of synchronicity meaningful coincidences that point to a deeper underlying order in the universe. So it's not just random chance that I keep seeing 337 on my coffee receipts. Exactly! But a sign that I'm aligned with something bigger. It's like the universe is winking at you, saying, you're on the right path, keep going. I like that. Any other explanations? Another theory suggests that angel numbers are a form of subconscious communication. Okay. Our minds are incredibly powerful, and it's possible we're picking up on subtle cues and patterns that we might not consciously be aware of. So it's like our intuition is speaking to us through these numbers, right. like a secret code only our soul can decipher. Precisely. Our intuition is often described as that gut feeling and inner knowing angel numbers could be one way it manifests, guiding us toward our highest good. You know, I've always been a bit skeptical of this whole angel number thing, yeah. but the more we talk about it, the more I'm starting to wonder. I get it. It can be hard to wrap your head around. But remember, even if we can't fully explain it, there's something powerful about these recurring patterns. They make us stop, think, and question. And sometimes that's all we need to start seeing things in a new light. That's a great point. And speaking of seeing things in a new light, we've got one last segment to explore where we'll dive into some cross-cultural perspectives on numerology and wrap up our deep dive into the world of 337. Stick with us.
Welcome back to the Zodiac Psycho Podcast, where we've been on this wild ride exploring the mystical realm of angel number 337. Yeah. We've covered everything from its numerological makeup to its potential impact on your love life and even dipped our toes into the mysterious ways these cosmic messages might be working. Huh? But before we wrap up, let's broaden our horizons and see how 337 and other numerical sequences are viewed across different cultures and traditions. It's fascinating how numbers have held symbolic meaning for centuries, weaving their way into mythology, spirituality, and cultural practices all over the world. So this isn't just some modern new agey trend. Mm -hmm. I'm picturing ancient civilizations consulting their numerology charts by candlelight. You're not far off. Think about the Egyptians and their reverence for the number seven representing completeness and perfection. Oh, wow. Or the ancient Greeks and their obsession with the golden ratio found in nature and art. Yeah. Numbers have always been a source of wonder and intrigue. It's like a universal language, but instead of words, it's numbers whispering secrets about the universe. Exactly. And these ancient beliefs continue to shape modern spiritual practices. For instance, Western mysticism, with its roots in Kabbalah and esoteric Christianity, views numbers as a direct link to the divine. So those angel numbers popping up on license plates and receipts are like little whispers from the heavens. Hmm. Maybe I should start playing the lottery based on angel numbers. Well, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. Okay. But the idea is that these numbers carry a deeper meaning, a message from a higher power. Then we have Eastern philosophies like Hinduism and Buddhism, mm -hmm. where numbers play a significant role in understanding cosmic cycles, karma, and spiritual evolution. So it's less about individual messages and more about understanding our place in the grand scheme of things. Precisely. It's about recognizing the interconnectedness of all beings and the universe. Wow. and how numbers reflect that interconnectedness. And let's not forget about indigenous cultures where numbers are often intertwined with nature, ancestral wisdom, and the spirit world. It makes sense. If you're living in close harmony with the natural world, you're probably more attuned to its rhythms and patterns, uh -huh. which often manifest in numerical sequences. It's like a living, breathing numerology system. Exactly. Think of the cycles of the moon, the changing seasons, the migration patterns of animals. All these things can be understood through the lens of numbers. Wow, this is blowing my mind. Yeah. But how do more modern New Age interpretations of numerology fit into all of this? New Age spirituality often draws from various ancient traditions, blending them with modern psychology and metaphysics. In this context, angel numbers are often seen as messages from our higher selves, spirit guides, or even the universe itself nudging us towards our highest potential. So it's like a fusion of ancient wisdom and modern self-discovery. Exactly. It's about taking those ancient symbols and interpretations and applying them to our own personal journeys of growth and evolution. Well, my brain is officially full. Mine too. We've covered so much ground in this deep dive. Yes, we have. Can we do a quick recap of the key takeaways for our listener before we send them back out into the world to decipher their own angel numbers? Absolutely. Remember angel number 337 with its double dose of three and the mystical influence of Seven is a potent symbol of spiritual growth, creative expression, and intuitive guidance. Okay. It's about embracing change, trusting your gut, and tapping into your creative potential. It's like a cosmic pep talk urging us to level up and live our best lives. Exactly. And while numerology might not have the same scientific backing as other fields, right. there's a rich history of cultural and spiritual significance associated with numbers dating back thousands of years. Whether you view angel numbers as synchronicity, subconscious communication, or divine intervention, what matters most is how these experiences make you feel and the insights they offer on your personal journey. So if seeing 337 inspired you to meditate, create something beautiful, or simply pay more attention to the world around you, then it's done its job. Beautifully said, the true magic lies within each of us. I like that. Trust your intuition, embrace your unique path, and remember that the universe is always supporting your highest good. This has been an incredible journey. A huge thank you to our amazing expert for sharing their wisdom and insights. And of course, thank you to our listeners for joining us on this 337 adventure. If you're looking to delve deeper into the world of numerology and spirituality, visit our blog. The link's in the description below for amazing offers. Yes. You might just discover something magical. Until next time, keep your eyes peeled for those angel numbers, and remember the universe is always speaking to you.